Hi, my name is Mike Wimmer. Um, I was going to do number two from the co-op. Uh, number two problem was uh, the, here's the, the, the end caps with the uh, propane tank. They gave us a, uh, an, an inside diameter of 40 inches, which obviously would be a radius of 20 inches. The allowable, or the internal pressure was 120 psi. The allowable tensile stress in the wall was 12,000 psi and the allowable tensile stress in the weld was 8 KSI. The first part of the problem was to determine the minimum wall thickness of the cylindrical part of the tank. We did that down, I did that down here, and the, the formula was for the stress equals PR over T. And obviously you just rearrange the formula to give you the, the T, which is what you want. And using that, I took the 120, I times that by the 20, and then I divided it by the stress they were given of 12,000 PSI. And that gave me a, a thickness for the first part of 0.2 inches. Then for the second part, was to determine the minimum wall thickness of the spherical end caps. For that, we were also given the formula, and it was pretty close to the same formula, except it was uh, the stress equals PR over 2T. So rearranging that formula, we have uh, T equals PR over 2 times the stress. And that problem also is pretty simple. I just took 120, I times it by 20, and divided it by 2 times 12,000 PSI. And I got a 0 0.01 inches for the thickness of the end caps. For the final part of the problem, it was to find the thickness of the weld that goes around the end caps. For this problem, we used the same formula that we used for the uh, minimum wall thickness, or, or the, the minimum wall thickness of the end caps, and we just we use the stress for the uh, for the thickness of the weld in this one. So we use T equals PR over two times the stress of the weld. So we got 120 times 20 divided by two times 8,000 psi, and for the thickness of the weld, we got 0 0.15 inches. Thank you, and have a good night. Hit the red button.